And for viewers who are joining us, I want to get you the first images sent out by the lander and the rover. First images, rover Pragyan exits Vikram lander. These are images that are just coming in and this is absolutely amazing. So this was so perfect according to scientists that they were expecting all of this to happen. They were expecting Pragyan uh, to roll out of the Vikram lander, the ramp to come out after the moon dust settled and they thought this would take several hours but it's, it's almost like clockwork precision. That's the moon surface near the south pole of the moon. So over the next 14 Earth days and one lunar day, Pragyan rover, Pragyan means knowledge, it will find out what's the moon surface like, what are the metals and minerals uh, on moon, uh, the seismic activity on the moon. I quickly want to cut across and bring into this conversation Lieutenant General A.K. Bhatt, he's Director General of the Indian Space Association. General, as always, a privilege having you on India today. The private sector too had a very critical role in this mission and perhaps will continue to do so in the, in the days, weeks and years ahead, sir. So I would start by saying is, you know, uh, Chandrayaan is, of course, totally a mission led by ISRO, planned by ISRO and done by ISRO. But what ISRO has been doing in India for the last 60 years is they have created an ecosystem of suppliers to them, vendors to them who today have much better capabilities. And they are the ones who have provided components, subsystems, systems, for this whole mission. I, I should start from name a few. There are 11 which I have traced out. And of course, the big ones in that are Larson and Tubro, Walchand Industries, Godrej, Centum, okay. ADTL, Keltron, and many more. And they have that ca capability of providing components, very critical components, which are effectively doing what the lander and the Pragya is doing at the moment. Okay. We are so proud of the contribution of the private industry which has been there. And when we look at the roadmap, sir, or the space map, for India to be a major space power in the years ahead, uh, this ecosystem that you talk about, uh, the private sector ecosystem, uh, like in the weapons industry, like in the arms industry in the West, they would have to play a bigger role uh, for more talent, uh, for the talent pool to be bigger, sir. Wouldn't oh, it? definitely. And, you know, uh, our Indian government and our prime minister took a major decision in June 2020 when they unshackled space and opened it to private sectors. And what, it, what has it resulted in? In the last one year, one startup, four-year-old, has been able to launch a rocket in the suborbital domain, and they will go into the orbital domain very soon. There are three pri uh, new startups who have launched satellites. And one of them would be launching 36 satellites in the next two years, which will provide remote sensing by hyperspectral means, not only to India, but to the whole world. And all of them, like Elon Musk in America, would support India's space ambitions. And I'm very sure the lander has given us the first step Yes. To what would later manifest into a lunar economy? A lunar economy. Explain that, sir, because this Pragyan rover, as the rover comes out and over the next 14 days tries to figure out the seismic activity, for example, on moon, uh, do, you, do you foresee this lunar economy take a bigger shape in our lifetime? Uh, I'm not sure of my lifetime, but definitely in your lifetime, Gaurav. And uh, well, I would put two decades, or three decades uh, two decades or three decades to it, definitely. But what, what are we looking at? We are looking at space stations, lunar space stations, uh, colonies on the moon, maybe manufacturing being done on the moon, uh, mining being carried out on the moon, and more importantly, it be becoming a stage, a uh, base for going to beyond, to the universe, to the Brahman, to many more, uh, Galaxy, uh, many more planets in the world, and much more. Moon would be the first staging area. 
by and when do we see that? You know, will that be that? You know, like in military parlance, sir, will Moon be the TAC headquarters uh, or the staging camp to launch the next operation uh, on the oh, next it, peak? It would be like what they say, the petrol base. It will be the petrol base <laughs> for going further ahead, and uh, it is definitely going to happen. That is how. Uh, yes, there have to be some disruptive technologies which have to come. And the most important of that is cost of going to the moon, putting human beings there, for human beings to survive because there is no oxygen, we know that. And in that environment, all these things, people are working on it. They say there will be a very large lunar economy where private players from world over primarily led by USA, would be there. And this is one opportunity which I am very sure our talent pool and our startups will also be part of it. So how do you read India's success vis-a-vis -vis, uh, and the kind of funds that India has allocated vis-a-vis -vis, um, the, the success that other countries unfortunately could not have uh, in, the recent, uh, in, the, in the recent years and not just Russia? Uh, uh, several other countries tried and they didn't succeed. Uh, and we had partial success in 2019. Gaurav, firstly, I would mention what ISRO has done and with the limited funds they have done is excellent. But we should not overplay low costs to an extreme end because we'll be in a global market. Yes. And very as, as our economy improves, manpower also will become costly in India. But as on today, we have an excellent talent pool a scientific talent, talent pool, which has led to our leading in IT, our leading in pharmaceuticals, and that manpower is waiting to go, to lead and capture a larger part of the global economy. This Fair is enough. going to happen uh, uh, because we, what, what we have, and most importantly is excellent, motivated youth. When I meet our startups, I could not have met better young men in the world. Okay. And Gaganyan, the man mission to space. Uh, you know, you heard the minister when yeah. he was talking about, uh, you yeah. know, first, uh, it'll, it'll be, uh, it, could, it could be a man, it could be a woman in the times ahead. But first, it will not be a human being, but something like a, a, yeah. Yeah. a, yes, a robot. Yes, sir. A robot. Yeah, this is, you know, this is a very practical way of going into it, step by step, not risking life using a robo and robots today are nearly as good as human beings as we know so if we can do that without risking a human life there is a definitely a better way and we will leapfrog into sending people faster and earlier lieutenant general ak bhat for joining me here on india today as always many thanks